Hi, my name is Brian English, former name Hyperbytes, and in this module we're going to look at the brand new feature being introduced to Webless 6, and that is uh, Couch and Pouch DB databases. It follows on very naturally from the previous modules regarding global databases because, again, this is managed through the Resources Manager. And what we're going to do is we're going to create our CouchDB. We're going to create just a local container initially, and then in a further module, I'll be showing you how to deploy that to a production server. So we're going to start now with services. We're going to go into Add Service Database CouchDB. I'm going to give that a name. Imaginative CouchDB. First thing we need to do now is to deploy that to our already running container that is calling our Docker cloud databases, etc. So I've got that running in the background. We're just going to click deploy and that will then de process that and deploy it to our database container. Having created that service, we're now going to look at the databases and I'm going to create a new database and I'm going to call that my DB. We need a user obviously for that so again we can add a new user and we're going to call that my user and then lastly of course we need to grant permissions to that user to manage that database so we're going to go into my user and we're just going to click grant users that's it now. We've created our CouchDB service. We've created our first CouchDB database. We've created a user and we've granted that user the privileges that they require to manage that database. Really, really simple as we'd expect from the Wapler team. So now let's look at how we're going to start populating that regarding using a schema. Okay, so now let's look at uh, Creating our connection or a database. So we're going to be looking at uh, database connections. We're going to add a new connection and we'll call that connection DB connection. What kind is it? Well, it's a cloud database. Database service will be CouchDB and our local database will be MyDB. And if see there now that uh, all of our settings are automatically created or added by Wapler. I'm just going to quickly correct a spelling mistake. So it'll bug me later. And there we are. That is how we create our database connection to our new CouchDB. So I'm just going to save that. And now let's look at uh, creating schemas, etc. Okay, so having created that connection now, all we need to do is add a collection. So we're going to right click on collections. We're going to go into new collection and we're going to call that, let's just say notes. And you'll see it'll automatically create an ID there. Um, it's probably difficult to equate that to a, a standard auto increment type DDB. This is more like a replication ID, uh, but it's something that's automatically created and uh, let's not just get too hung up on this but it is an essential part of the um, methodology in which couch and pouch are able to resolve database conflicts etc so i'm just going to create a couple of new fields in here we're going to create new field and we're going to call that title that's a text and again a new field and we're going to call that content let's now apply those database changes in the same way as we would with any other database change within the database manager and let's commit that there we are now we've actually created our first um, collection think of this as a, a database table in the same way as you would with a relational database and we've now got some data that we're actually going to be able to work with so it's probably a good time to break this session and uh, in the next session we'll look at how to use app connect how to integrate app connect with pouch and link a pouch database to your couch database um, so look forward to seeing you then <laughs>